Assalamualaikum and greetings. I am Mizan Jasmin binti Muhammad Iswandi under the supervision of Sheikh Asmahani binti Mahdi and Puan Sarah Anak Jo. Today, I will be presenting about my research study entitled The Relationship Between Leadership Styles and Job Satisfaction Among Employees at Jabatan Kebajikan Masyarakat Kuching, Sarawak. Before I begin, this is the outline of my presentation. Without further ado, let's begin with the problem statement. According to Modif 2015, most research related to lead leadership and job satisfaction were conducted in Eastern and Western countries, whereas research in Malaysia were limited. Apart from that, according to Nuta with ETAL 2015, transformational leaders are less effective in a stable organization where change is not required. Last but not least, transactional leadership seeks to maintain stability rather than promoting change within an organization, as stated by Nolina Muma Ali, 2015. As for the research objectives and limitation, the first research objective is to examine the relationship between transformational leadership style and job satisfaction among employees at Jabatan Kebajikan Masyarakat Kuching, Sarawak. The second research objective is to examine the relationship between transactional leadership style and job satisfaction among the employees at Jabatan Kebajikan Masyarakat Kuching, Sarawak. For the limitations, this study only focusing on employees employed in Jabatan Kebajikan Masyarakat in Kuching, Sarawak branch. Apart from that, the findings of the study were only focused on job satisfaction among the employees. Last but not least, this study only opted to use questionnaire to collect data from the respondents. Let's carry on to Chapter 2 Research Framework. This theoretical framework shows the relationship between independent and dependent variables adapted from BAS 2008. The independent variables were transformational leadership and transactional leadership and job satisfaction as the dependent variable. As for the research methodology, this research design is a non-experimental or correlational research. For sampling frame and unit of analysis, it consists of employees of Jabatan Kebajikan Masyarakat, Kuching. For population and sample size, there were 104 respondents involved in this study. This research study used census as the sampling technique. Apart from that, as for the instrument, this study used a questionnaire to collect data from the respondents. For validity of instrument, there were two of them, which is Puan Kashnita Edin, Psychological and Counseling Head Officer at Jabatan Kebajikan Masyarakat Kuching as the first validity, and Dr. Alan Chung, Senior Lecturer from Faculty of Business and Management, UATM Kota Samarhan, as the content validity. Going on to the demographic information, majority respondents were female with a percentage of 75%. Most respondents are married with a percentage of 80.8%. 44.2% were asked by employers. As for the job classification, support staff have answered this questionnaire the most with a percentage of 63.5%. And last but not least, the respondents who have more than 10 years of services holds the highest percentage of answering this questionnaire which is 67.5%. As for the descriptive statistic, both transformational and transactional leadership style have almost similar mean, which is 3.00 and 2.99 respectively. This means that the employees agree that both leadership styles exist in organization. However, transformational leadership style remains more influential. As for the normality test, according to Palan 2005, the value of skewness and courtesy should be in the range of plus 2 and negative 2 in order for a data to be considered as normal. It is proven that this, that this data 
is normal because the value is is within the range. As for the reliability test, according to Palan 2005, the value of Kronbach alpha should be above 0.7. This is proven when all the variables of this data exceeded 0.7. As for the correlations, both transformational and transactional leadership styles have a positive, strong, and significant relationship towards job satisfaction. This is proven that transformational leadership style and also transactional leadership style plays an important role in increasing employees' job satisfaction. Last but not least, for the recommendations, it is recommended for the organization to take note on which leadership style might actually help the organization to improvise the employee's job satisfaction. As for the employees, any acceptable dissatisfaction towards the leader should be voiced out in the most appropriate way. And as for the future researcher, it is recommended for them to expand the numbers of respondents participating in the study. That is all from me. Thank you.